Hey guys, I hope you're all still having a fantastic week so far. I know it's been a while, um, I thought I'd just put up a quick video for you guys. It's going to be fairly simple this one. Today what we're going to take a look at is some of these. So these are those RFID stickers. Now, I don't have a actual hub, but we can use our phone as an RFID scanner, which does open up the possibility for a lot of automations that we can set up. So today what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you guys how to set up and configure some RFID tags and then give you some ideas on how we can integrate this into Home Assistant. But with that said, let's go in and take a look. There we go guys, so back in my Home Assistant installation, as you can see, everything looks fairly similar as the last time I left off, um, not a lot has changed, um, what I'm going to do in this video is, I'll show you where to find the option for tag, so when we're in Home Assistant itself, so on my computer, if we go to the configuration down below, you'll see that there is an option that was added that's called tags right here. If we click on it, this is going to show you a list of all the tags you currently have. Now, uh, RFID tags comes in a lot of different shapes and forms. So you get your normal keychain RFIDs, you get your cards that you can just tap, and then you also get these stickers. So we get these. These are the RFID stickers, so they are very flexible. As you can see right here, it's, there's nothing to them, so they just stick to everything. Um, what we'll do with these is we'll stick it on a specific surface, and then instead of having an actual reader or an NFC reader, we can use our phone as the NFC reader. Now, what will make this very exciting or very cool to use is, say for example, you have your wireless charger. At next to your bed so each time you go to bed at night you always have your phone you always put your phone on charge I don't care who you are you're probably charging your phone next to your bed so when you go to bed at night you take your phone you put it on charge you probably have a wireless charger if not you can still stick the sticker just on a normal surface just as long as you place your phone um, in the range of the RFID reader then what we can do with this is once the phone communicates with the RFID reader, it triggers a automation in Home Assistant. And that's very, very cool and very inexpensive way of setting up automations. Now, what makes this really exciting is the fact that it just integrates so easily. So you just set it up, set up some automations and it works. It doesn't change anything in your routine. It's exactly the same. The only thing that it may change is allow you to be a bit more... Uh, lazy to put it that way so you set up automation to turn off all the lights for example or to do something specific you can do a routine just as soon as you set this up and it triggers it'll go in and trigger that automation so you can do a night routine for example turning off all the lights with that said let's quickly go in and take a look on how we can set this up with our phone now i haven't built those reader units yet um i know there's a way of esp home so you can build that and it'll directly integrate so you'll just be able to click on add right here and that'll allow you to add those readers but obviously we need to go in and generate those ids so the best option we need to do is we can take our phone in most cases you should have a phone with an rfid reader in it and then if we open that up you'll see i have my phone open right here just so i can show you guys all we do is in the app itself we click on the hamburger icon all the way to the top we go back to configuration and then in here we'll just go down and you'll see we have that tags option right there as well so open up tags click on the plus sign we need to name this so we can go ahead and just type in a name so i can call this bedtime for example and that's just for me just a way of you to identify which nfc tag this is going to be and then we can click on create and write once this comes up it'll ask us to place our phone have this phone and have this sticker so all i'll do is i'll just place it right on there and there we go so as you can see it shows that it did scan that it shows that it has never been scanned because obviously this is a new nfc tag that we just added into the system so now that it's in there we can have this trigger a whole bunch of different stuff so you're not limited to just adding this my idea is just for adding it to your bed for example next to your bed on your wireless charger because that's where you always place your phone but you can place these all around your house and have it trigger specific settings say for example you're in a living room and you're watching a movie or when you go to your living room you can just place your 
phone on the uh, coffee table and you may have one of these sticked on there and that'll trigger a automation that'll dim the light for example or anything like that the possibilities are fairly limitless instead of using a button that you need to place somewhere you could just stick these all around the house and irritate your wife so with that said let's quickly go in and set up an automation with these so i already added that uh, one in here i'm just going to refresh this page real quick there we go so as we can see bedtime is in here as you can see, it's never been scanned, so to set up an automation with this one, it's fairly simple. What we'll do is we'll click on this little robot icon right here. That's just to set up a new automation. And there we go. So let me go in the name. It added in tag bedtime scanned. I can leave it as is. I'll remove this afterwards. But that's just the name of that automation. So what happens right here? The trigger type. So what is going to trigger this event? And in my case, we can say tag at bedtime so obviously if this tag has been scanned it will trigger something so i need to tell it because we already clicked on this tag the only thing we actually need to do is just do the action itself so we need to tell this system what they need to do as soon as we scan this tag now if you really want to if you really want to you can place this like right on a door or on the inside outside of a door and every time you get home you can just scan the nfc and it'll open up the door um, nothing stopping you from doing that i'm not sure if it's more secure or less secure than having a sticker because having an actual rfid scanner may be a bit easier to clone the tags than needing to have the phone with the app installed so depending on the way you want to do it It'll be a lot cleaner having just a small tag instead of a massive RFID reader. But in this case, what I want to do is just as an example, I'll say if this tag has been scanned, all I want to do is I want to call a service. So let's do call service. And then we can say, let's just do a light. So let's just turn off the living room uh, light. Light, turn off. And then we go into the idea. I'm just going to use this one right here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. You'll probably see the blue go away. And then we go. That should be it. So this is just a basic example. Obviously, you can go in and set up advanced automations that will go through. And I do still have a few videos in mind that will cover a couple of automations using the interface. But this is just a quick example showing you guys how we would set this up. So in my case, I'll just turn off the living room light, hit save. And now every time this tag has been scanned, it will turn off the living room light right here. So... In order for this to work, the phone needs to be unlocked. So let's just quickly unlock the phone. So that is one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that the phone would will need to be unlocked for this to work. I have tried using it uh, with the phone just sitting like this and it did work sometimes if the app is running in the background, but most of the times it did not work. So usually what I would recommend is just unlock the phone and then scan that tag. So I'll scan that tag right here. And as you can see, it shows processing tag. And it did, in fact, turn off those lights. So if I move this out of the way, you'll see that the living room light is now turned off. I can turn it back on. And then as soon as I scan it again, it'll process the tag. And then it turns off the light. And there we go, guys. Fairly simple setup, as I've said, um, this is not going to be that long of a video. I just wanted to show you guys how to integrate this RFID's uh, tags as they are extremely versatile and you can do so much with them. I think this is like a feature that not a lot of people are covering or hyping about as they should because this is fantastic. The things you can do with these placed around the house or in specific spots is just phenomenal and you can't you can never get a button that size and you're always going to have your phone with you if you want to do something so i mean this is just fantastic so if you guys do have any questions feel free to comment down below i'd be happy to answer any any questions that you may have i do try to respond to all of your comments i may miss one or two once in a while but i do really try to respond to as many as i can and with that said i'm going to leave you guys i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week